Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's so great to see everyone again. I have been stop uploading for about two years now, and now I have restarted to film for you guys. And I just, I think I've recently uh, refound my passion in YouTube. Um, life has been hectic, has been hectic since I have not uploaded for the past couple of years and I changed jobs, I changed, I moved states to a different state and I had babies, life is just crazy. So I would like to, in your busy life, just provide you a little bit of comfort and happiness. So if you like um, girly contents, beautiful things, fashions, handbags, please keep watching. And so um, I kind of went on a pause for, so there's a backstory for this bag. First of all, I was on a pause for buying luxury handbags for about a year or two almost. So I've been trying really good. Um, I shouldn't say good because I still spend money for other things, but I haven't been buying luxury for a long time, probably a year or two. And it was just like nothing was picking, picking my interest until I saw this bag. And so at that time, I wasn't thinking about uh, spending way too much money. And this bag is actually a great um, price point, I think, for a luxury purchase. I think in the US right now, it retails about um, $1,100 around that price mark. But, um, the, but here's the deal. I found a website called 24S, and I think probably many of you know what that website is. It's a, an LVMH um, luxury uh, bag uh, website, and all of them, they sell authentic, obviously, because it's from the LVMH group, and they have coupons, and they have sales um, from time to time, and their Chloe stuff is always on sale. You just need to wait and check it out. So I waited uh, for their Chloe items to go on sale and then I got this one. And I got, the color I got here is called, I can't remember, Divine Gray. I think that's the name of the color. Um, usually I think what everybody gets for this tote bag, the Chloe tote bag, they get the brown color, which is the classic. But I think the brown one is too, too vacation, too, feels too much of a vacation bag for me. And I was really looking for more of a day-to-day, -day, uh, less country-ish bag. Um, this is still very casual. You can still wear it as uh, like a vacation beach bag but i i like the blue the gray blue in it to make it more modernized so it's not as oh you you're going to the beach kind of vibe but i can still use this for work and for like just running errands in town and doesn't look too too casual so i really like this gray it's actually a bluish gray color i don't know if it's picking up on camera and this is um, actually very feels very sophisticated also on the handle here hope it's capturing the light really well and and the leather lining goes around in here so yeah so long story short I got this bag with a discount and I was really really happy I got almost I think um, 40% off retail, so it feels like a steal for me. Then I was feeling like, okay, I can get a luxury bag for that price. And this is actually um, a very, very handy bag. Ever since I got it, I've been using it every weekend nonstop. It's just a very great bag on the go, and especially if you're a mom and you need things more than your mini bags, you need to fit uh, tissues, wipes, um, any random things it fits in like if it's a lot of stuff and it's still very structured and it goes with any outfit uh, literally any outfit it's such such a good um, pairing or a good style item um, and so let me just go through the bag real quick 
um, you can see the the ribbon here this is like a cotton material and there's a film on top that is the Chloe lettering and I think it's like it's laminated on this cotton material um, I think this is probably the most delicate part of this bag the logos um, I've heard actually read reviews online that it may tear and wear so it's best that we keep like do not rub this too much otherwise it will probably fade over time that's one of the concerns that i have but I, after i've got this back for like maybe four months now and nothing has there's no issue nothing has like worn off i think and so this is the bottom you see all the the letter details and the ribbon goes around the back and i think the body or the main bodice of this bag is made of this flaxseed material i think it's flaxseed or linen material um it's it's not as uh it's not cottony material it's more of a flaxseed and it's thick um, and it has a gray gray beige undertone it, this is not uh, this is not very light color you can see this is a lighter color and this is this ribbon has some yellow undertone in it this is more of a gray color on the linen as far as the weight goes this is this actually has some weight to it. I would say this actually weighs more than the Neverfull because how thick the fabric is. Um, and in the inside, you can see it's just a, it's a, just a hole. Just one, uh, two compartments and one more here. I have a Chloe tag. Um, it's called, here is the detail. It's called Chloe Woody Medium Toe Bag and in the defined gray color yep and so let's see what fits in this bag so this bag actually it's um, labeled and marketed that it can fit a laptop so let's do the laptop test Here you go. I have my 14 inch MacBook Air, the late, uh, the M2 model, and it fits right in to the edge here. No issue, it slides right in. It's not stretching the back on the side. Everything looks perfect. It's just gonna get heavy, but the straps are really thick and it has the leather detail, so it helps. I usually don't carry a laptop in this bag. Um, I have the option to, but I just don't end up using it that way um, because I usually use this for weekends. It's my weekend. Weekend uh, shopping and park running errands kind of bag. And I have, I have uh, this is the toiletry, Louis Vuitton toiletry. Toiletry, I think this is 26. Yeah, 26. And you can see if it's in no problem and you have a little bit of room here. The thing about this bag is that the opening is very structured. So when you put a lot of stuff in, it doesn't flap open. It will stay upright, which I like a lot. And so let's put stuff inside. I have a cube with my makeup from Stony Cloverlay. And I have my hand lotion, all my goodies in it. So if you want to check what exactly is inside, usually I carry, you can check out my uh, video for Marc Jacobs. I will link it right here. I'll just put it right here. Full size wallet. And this is the uh, Kirigami pouch 
the, the largest kirigami. And I just have a bunch of perfumes, pill case, AirPods, compact case, face mask, and a lipstick. And also like a lotion. This is my favorite um, SLG or pouches of all time. This is so useful. If you're thinking about getting the Kirigami, I highly recommend it. And let me know if you want me to do a video on Kirigamis. I think I will do one for Kirigamis um, eventually. So I carry this usually all the time when I carry bigger bags. And you can fit it right in. And you see there's so much more room in here. And let's see, you can put in maybe, let, let's just get a jacket from here. You can put in like a cardigan or a jacket and yep, you are good to go. And I would just go out the door like this. Um, so overall, this is a great, great bag. Um, I This is my first um, item from the Chloe brand and i'm loving it so much it is very versatile and i haven't had issues with the quality yet um but i have it for four months i don't really use this bag very roughly um so i i'm usually careful that's what i mean i'm usually careful when i'm using this bag but there's no wear and tear that i'm seeing and it goes with any outfits so i would say this is a definitely a very very good buy and there's so many colors and variation of this tote. Um, I think you can try to get it, uh, try to get it at a discount. I would say um, at 24s or some other sites. Mm, I think this is a very very great valuable uh, purchase. So I will do a mod shot for you, and yeah, that's. Let's do a mud shot. I'll see you in the mud shot.